Welcome back all you sports and gambling fans out there. Get ready for some NHL betting today. Joining me here is our very own SBR contributor, Dave Golikov. And we're going to be looking at that Buffalo Sabres game going up against the Montreal Canadiens. All right, man. So the Sabres come into this game with an awful 0-14 straight up record in their last 14 games. Um, what makes you think that they actually could have a shot against Montreal in this spot? Uh, not really much other than the fact that uh, Montreal lost uh, their last game to the Arizona Coyotes. The Coyotes are a bad team as well. Uh, you know, if they can lose to Arizona at home, um, you know, gives the Sabres some hope. That's for sure. On top of that, Jonas Enroth, the Sabres goaltender, has actually won five of seven starts against Montreal. So those are kind of the two things that you're hanging your hat on if you're betting the Sabres. All right, yeah, you did point out again uh, Montreal losing to Arizona Coyotes uh, this past Monday, I believe it was, or Sunday. Um, I mean, do you expect them to drop another game against another bad team like the Sabres? No, absolutely not. And uh, that leads into our pick, basically. But you take a look at Montreal. This is a team that's been playing fantastic of late, uh, won 15 of 20, going up against a team that really, you can't get worse than a 14-game losing streak, at least in that span. You can't, you know, can't lose those games twice. Uh, and the Sabres, you know, not many of those losses are even in overtime, so they're not even coming close uh, in those games. Outscored 61 to 21, which is absolutely phenomenal in that span. When you break it down, that's, an average score of 4.4 to one and a half. So they're getting outscored by nearly three goals. Um, you know, the, the momentum is clearly with the Canadians here. And then lastly, I would add that uh, Carey Price has been fantastic of late. You know, you mentioned the Coyotes win on Sunday. Well, uh, just so happens Carey Price didn't play in that game. And uh, the Habs are obviously a different team when their all-star goaltender is not there. Um, so uh, you take a look at his numbers. He's, uh, he's won 13 of his last 16 starts, so he's fantastic. So you got Price back in net tonight, going up against one of the worst teams in the NHL. I think it makes sense uh, that the Canadians win. All right, but in this case, you're actually favoring the Canadians to win by one, uh, more than one and a half goals on the puck line. Now, do you think that they can do it, you know, pulling it off by more than two goals in this case, Dave? I think so. I mean, uh, I mentioned to you the numbers with the Sabres losing uh, by an average score, you know, losing by roughly three goals per game. Um, the puck line has covered uh, something like uh, 10 of their last 12 losses have been by uh, the puck line or more. So I do like Montreal here. And then the, I think the tidbit that really factors is they just blew a game against Arizona. So I think they're not going to have that type of a slumpy performance again. I think the uh, head coach, Michelle Therrion, is going to tear a strip off their back. And I think that, uh, you know, they're going to be a lot more focused not to blow another couple points against a very weak Sabres team. And then lastly, you know, as mentioned, the last game was out without Carey Price. Now he's back in it. Uh, I think that makes the Canadians' job that much easier to cover the puck line here. Totally agree with Price uh, behind that. Should be a lot better for this team. All right, Dave, as always, man, a pleasure talking hockey with you, and thanks for the pick. And we'll talk again tomorrow. For everyone else, make sure to check back with us tomorrow for some more sports coverage and your free picks. Till then, for SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd.